this one looks interesting. I think it's a nice photo. I think it's crooked, but it's a nice photo. So let's start from the beginning. Let's go to Adobe Landscape. That's already better. Go to Auto. That's nice. Then let's go to Transform. And there's a slider called just simply Rotate. And I love this slider. Just kind of get it a little more straight. Somewhere in there. And then you're going to click this checkbox, Constrain Crop, to get rid of those little white areas on the edges that happen from the rotation. Voila. All right, that's already looking better. We probably could do something with this sky. Maybe just go to masking, go to linear gradient, and drag it down a little bit from the top, and then darken that part of the sky. And let's add a little more yellow, whoops, <laughs> and magenta in there, just to make it a little more interesting. I don't know if that works. I might might go more towards blue. Hold on, that's going to be purple. Yeah, go more towards blue. And then bring up the whites a little. This is looking pretty good. This is an easy one. Uh, I would add the uh, edge vignette. Let's go down to vignette and add a very slight vignette like that. Now watch. I'm going to turn it on and turn it off. Watch. See, you wouldn't really notice, but I think it does a nice job on that. And I think maybe if you really want to bring out some more color, let's go to contrast and increase that a bit. You can make it a little more contrasty. And let's do a before and after before we go any further. So really, I mean, there wasn't a lot to do. Straighten it out, add that gradient to the sky, and just really bring in some contrast. Now you could go texture and a little bit of clarity. Clarity will make the water shiny and maybe a little bit of dehaze. Oh, that's looking pretty good. It's, now it might be, maybe you can bring the exposure up just a hair. Because clarity kind of does darken it a little bit. It's adding mid-tone contrast, so it kind of darkens the image. Now, there's one thing I would do if it were me, and this is how would I edit your photo. I don't like this thing right in the sunset. I'm not crazy about these, or this one, or this one. But if I remove them, I would want to live one, two, three, four. I want to leave five. I want to leave an odd number of objects. There is a new tool in Lightroom. Well, it's not called, it's not the new tool. It's a new feature. You're going to go right here to the eraser tool. Go to the eraser tool. Click on the very first one, which is the eraser. But then there is generative AI. So what you can do is click on it, and it will use the generative fill from Photoshop over here in Lightroom. Paint over the thing you want to get rid of, which in my case, it would be this. Hit apply and wait. Let's wait, shall we? 12 seconds. Look at that. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but it actually put a sun in there. <laughs> now, there's three choices, right? There's this little thing that says variations. You get three choices just like in Photoshop. Let's try the second choice. Big sun, third choice, little baby sun. When you look, I think I might go with number three. Now, if you don't like any of them, you can hit refresh and it will do it again. It will try another three. Now, I'm okay with that actually, but I don't want this one. So I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to get rid of that. I want one, two, three, four, five. You want an odd number. It's a compositional thing. Hit apply. Wait 12 seconds. Hopefully it gets rid of those little outliers. And I think that we have a pretty good, good shot. Lynette wrote in the comments, amazing transformation. Yeah, it's, it is incredible what Lightroom and Photoshop can do today. So easily compared to what we used to have to do. Oh, that cleaned it up quite nicely, I think. So let's look at them side by side. Really nice picture to begin with. So there we go.